Hello and welcome back to Subnautica and today there has been an update on the game. It is called the Eye Candy Update and as you guys can see everything looks a little bit darker but it is actually a film grain that is on right now and I must say it makes the game look a lot better. I mean really, if we quickly go to here options into graphics we can see or filmatic it's like yes yeah, basically a great film grade and um yeah just it's it's really really cool and it does give that certain feel like the game is a bit more optimized or not but optimized just a little bit more realistic if we can put it that way um if we quickly go outside we can see like everything is a little bit blurry and oh, it looks just beautiful i must say really really beautiful uh, let me quickly just grab that fish over there. Come on, come on. There we go. And, oh, so much smoothness and all the things are just better. So much better. And if we go up here to viewing the Aurora, as we can see there is, it, it blends in so nicely, so well. It's just beautiful. Really it is. Okay, so for the today, we are going to try and build the Seamoth and the Cyclops at the same time. And that might require a lot of um, extra materials, like a lot of materials, actually. Alright, so let's quickly go up here and come on board and see what we require. Ooh, that's nice. Um, plastic ingots, three of them, enameled glass, lubricants, advanced wiring kit, and lead. And this one is two plastic ingots, so it's five plastic ingots, aerogel diamonds, lead, and enameled glass. How many? It's just one for there and three for there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just we quickly go down to base. Let's see how many plastic ingots we can actually make. So we, we do need five. I always get confused with the entrance of the game. Or the base, not the game, the base. Lol. Um, power is still doing well-ish. I just quickly want to check out how is this guy. Okay, it requires a bit more of the fruits. So let's quickly... Yeah, grab one too many. It's fine, it's fine. So let's just do that. Oh, and also if you like open up your PDA. The background blurs as well. It's so freaking nice. I love it. Oh man, they don't fail this game, really. It's It feels like they're making progress. And even that looks a lot better, the blueprint. Okay, enough stagnating. Let's go, let's go. Um, one titanium ingot. And two lithium. Okay, so it's ten of those. So we're gonna need about fifty. Uh, let's see how many we can make of these alone. We got lead, we got one lithium, and I did collect rubies and glasses things. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the butt, but it has to be done. There's no other way. Okay, there's one. It takes a while. And it was lithium, right? And, okay, we do require more. Can we make another one? No, we cannot. Okay, so we have to go and find as many thingamabobs as possible. Or just to do water real quickly. Nice. And let's go ahead and just, ah, just keep it, you know. It's a waste if we try. And these guys are still going. Our, water, our power is doing good well, with these guys running. Did add a couple of uh, storage lockers there just to catch the um, the salt that's being made and also the waters, so we can store those guys up. Okay, let's go down. I want to see how much lithium we can collect, and maybe oh maybe a diamond. And since we can go extremely deep, this is going to be fairly easy. Yeah, maybe. I did go down here once for rubies, because apparently, like Piki said, there would be rubies. Never find any. Not find any of those. 
any rubies, so don't really try. Unless you know exactly where to look. Which I don't. That is magnetite. Which we don't need. Okay, uh, it is actually a bit darker, I gotta say. Okay, let's see. Okay, got a diamond. So we need to get a lot of diamonds and a lot of lithium. Which should be fine. I hope. Let's see. Um, no. It's just the, the little little guys. Uh, the shale outcrops or what's a shell crop or what? These guys. And there's something we can look at as well. I haven't seen this before. Oh, battery. Okay. So, continuing on. Just want to watch out for those snaky things. Oh, I forgot the names. I don't remember all the creatures' names in this game. I just remember the boomerang, beep, beeper, and... What was the other one? Bladderfish and the cuttlefish. I really, I think I do have the egg of the cuttlefish, but we don't have the containment facility to incubate that egg, so that's not gonna help us at all. Okay, so let's uh, continue on. Let's see if we cannot find any more. There is one. So I think what I should do is put a cut in here in the video and see how much things I can collect materials and then we'll be right back see you guys in a bit all right and welcome back I'm just looking at my power consumption it's not looking very good uh, just quickly want to check outside how f is, is it coming daytime or not uh, let me see I did change back some of the settings yeah, it should be daytime soon, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, yeah, I did change some settings back with the graphics. Because it was just a little bit too dark for me. If I can be dead honest. Um, Peeper, why? Anyways, uh, so right now I just quickly want to collect. One, two, was it, how many diamonds was it? Was it this one? No. What was it now? Yeah, two diamonds, and we have all the ingredients to build the Cyclops and the prawn suit. Oh, that's, this is gonna be awesome. And yeah, I'm just looking at that power consumption. It's not looking good. Wait a minute, why are you inactive? Oh, that's why. And there goes our power. Warning, emergency power only. Ah. Uh. I just refilled this. How is this possible? There we go. Power restored. All primary okay, we are, we're good. We're good. It's a temporary setback. I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. And let's go to over here. I'm just, you guys just making stuff up. That. And we will get to the building in a moment. I'm just waiting for um, daytime. To arrive, it should be shortly, anytime soon. And unpowered. Really? Is it. Hmm. I mean, it should. Ah, it should become daytime soon. Yeah, it's becoming daytime. So, solar panels should be charging. But I think we should also add more solar panels, you know, just for in case the situation arises once again. Uh, okay. What does it take to make a solar panel? Um, oh, copper, titanium and quartz. I don't think I have any copper. I just used all the copper. Okay, that is a bit of a problem. Alright, it is going right now, so let's go ahead. Hmm. Let's just normal cook it. There we go. And chow that down, and we're good on food and water. 
let's quickly put the salt back. There you go, League of Legends player. Now let us exit and go to our little um, mobile vehicle over here. Mobile construction. Mobile... What? Why? There we go. I said climb, not pick up. There we go. All right. What's going to be first? Uh, Cyclops or the prawn suit? Hmm. Let us go with the Cyclops. No, prawn suit. Piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self Okay, well. Wait, come back! Prawn suit! Come back! Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, there we go. Uh. There we go. Oh, and I love the interface, like, showing you how much power and stuff you have, jumping and things. There we go. This is awesome. I love it. Bronze suits, one of the best things ever. Okay, next up is the Cyclops. Alright, let's go. Let's go and get, um, let's just put this back. Repair tool. We don't know when we will need it. Alright, there we go. And climb on board. Let's use it for the Cyclops. Oh, yeah. New blueprint acquired. Oh, so awesome. The Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Alright. It's fine, I guess. Uh, there we go. In she goes. Just be careful. Be careful. Jeez. Let's uh, climb aboard. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Oh, I love it. So cool. Spotted. Spotted it. Engine. Powering up. Oh, so cool. So freaking cool. And, uh... Let's see if we cannot turn. That is... One. Two, three. Where's the tail? Is this the tail? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we are actually quite far away from that. Right click to exit. There we go. Uh, uh, reverse and turn, turn. There we go. Oh man, I love it. It's so cool. Freaking awesome! <gasps> and this, and that, and I don't know what else. Uh, let's see. I know you can. You can. Oh yeah. I also picked up the nuclear reactor, which could be a viable option. Hmm. In here, or I don't know. Titanium, gold, and a table coral sample. Hmm. Let's see. Wait a minute. No vehicle docked. Really? Is is that a thing? Let's go get the seam off real quick. I haven't noticed that before. Why have I not been informed? Alright, let's just uh, climb up here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And go in here. And the Cyclops is a little bit damaged. Not the Cyclops, the damn seam off. Okay. Ah, there we go. So cool. Right, seam off. 
Oh, you can add the upgrades from here. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, cool. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me here on Subnautica. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.